Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. If you're new here, my name is Nishita. I would love for you guys to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. In today's video, I'm going to share with you guys uh, the products that I purchased during the Sephora VIP holiday sale. I did quite some damage and I have a lot of products to share with you guys. And almost all of these are very new to me. Uh, I did uh, spend a lot of my money on makeup this time around. I usually spend most of my money on skincare whenever there is a sale like this. Uh, but because, you know, skincare is very expensive and I feel like skincare is more worth it than makeup itself and uh, to be honest you do not get you know that good skincare at the drugstore so i usually you know take advantage of the sales to buy more skincare products than makeup but this time i there were a few makeup products that i've always wanted to try and i thought you know i would just go for it so yeah let's get started so the first skincare item that I have is the Laneige uh, Kiss and Makeup set. Uh, you get, you know, four uh, lip balms in this. One is their original uh, lip mask, original flavor, which comes in a full size. And you have uh, three flavors of their mini sizes. One is the grapefruit, one is the apple lime, and the other one is vanilla, which I don't have with me right now. But if you want to pick up that one holiday set, if you want to gift someone who are into lip balms, and if you're someone who have, you know, chapped lips and dry lips, I would say give this mask a try. This is hands down the best lip care item that I've ever tried. I know this alone retails for $20, I guess, which is kind of expensive for a lip mask, but this particular jar is totally worth it. Whenever you apply it, you will wake up with beautiful plumped and hydrated lips so i highly recommend you try this out because this is totally worth it so this whole set retails for 28 dollars which i think is you know a very great deal because you get one of their full size products and three mini sizes which you can travel with and they all smell amazing i personally feel like this set is totally worth it like pick up this right now and the next skincare item that i got is the ren uh overcome sorry Ren Ever Calm Overnight Recovery Balm. It's supposed to soothe and nourish your skin uh, for a, you know, deeply nourished and moisturized, healthy looking skin in the morning. It's for sensitive and reactive skin. I do try a lot of new products, new foundations, and sometimes my skin reacts in a very bad way to them. If I try out a foundation that is either too thick or if it has a strong scent, it breaks me out. And I wanted something to keep in handy for, you know, times like that whenever I feel like my skin is very inflammated. And you know, you can feel it when a product is bad for you. You can feel that something bad is going to happen to your skin. And I haven't, uh, you know, gotten a chance to try this one out yet, but I will keep you guys updated. And all the products that I'm going to show you guys now, I will use them for a month or two and then update you guys. I feel like hauls are only useful if you update your viewers about them. And the next skincare item that I got is the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow AHA Resurfacing Night Serum. So let's see the claims of this. Uh, it's a you know, multi-correctional night serum that resurfaces skin for a smoother, youthful looking, glowing complexion. It's formulated with 14% AHA, BHA, flavor acids to exfoliate and proprietary honey blend to hydrate. So it's a chemical exfoliant similar to the, you know, drug elephant glycolic night serum. So AHA and BHA are really good for your skin. Uh, they, deep, they penetrate deep into your skin and remove all the dirt and oils. They are like chemical exfoliants. If you use them, you know, twice or thrice a week, they will, you know, give a very good results for your skin. I've been in love with the glycolic night serum from Trunk Elephant, but I'm not gonna lie, it is getting very expensive for me. So I wanted to try this one out because this one retails for, you know, $68 and it's not as expensive as the Drunk Elephant one and you get one fluid ounce. Uh, so, you know, I wanted to incorporate this in my skincare and see if it works just as the same as the Drunk Elephant one. And, you know, from next time I might stick to this one. So those are all the skincare items. Now let's jump into makeup. Uh, I first got this Lancome uh, Long Time No Shine uh, Translucent Setting Powder. I've heard like many good things about this powder so I wanted to try it out. I'm kind of, you know, bored of the Lord Mercier one right now. <sighs> not, do not ever try to smell a powder. It will get inside your nose. Uh, but it's just a translucent powder to set your makeup. I haven't used this one yet, but I think I heard like very good uh, things about this powder, especially if you have dry skin. So yeah, I wanted to try this one out. I was just curious. And I love Lancome as a brand. So if there is a sale around, I have to pick up one of their products. And next I got a primer. It's the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. 
Uh, I've heard so many good things about this. I mean, I've seen so many of my favorite YouTubers use and rave about this product. So I finally wanted to try it out. I feel like my T-zone gets a little bit oily and this is supposed to mattify and smooth all of your pores. Uh, so I thought I could just, you know, use this in my T-zone. Uh, so I picked this up. I picked up the mini size because I prefer mini sizes over full sizes. This way you get to try out the product and you can also travel with it. Next, I picked up some foundations. The first one is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation in the shade Y425. This is not a new foundation. It's not new to me or it's not new to the market either. They just, you know, released a limited edition mini size of their best selling foundation. Makeup Forever is one of my favorite brands out there. They've always been very good with their shade range. And this is one of my favorite foundations of all time. This is the first foundation that I ever owned. The one that I currently own is expired and I cannot use that anymore. Uh, and when they came out with uh, mini sizes, I was very happy because I would never use a full bottle of a foundation because I keep trying new ones all the time and there's no way I can go through an entire bottle of a foundation. So I highly uh, appreciate that they came out with a mini size because, you know, I can still add it back to my collection and this way I'm not wasting, you know, that much money. Next, I got the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation in the shade 4W. This is not a new foundation to me. When it first launched, I did a full dedicated review. I will leave a card up here if you want to check it out. But this is a very good foundation. Like, uh, it stays for a really long time. It looks very natural on the skin. It is a matte finish foundation. Uh, it has, you know, a medium coverage. Uh, the reason I uh, bought it, because when I first reviewed it, I had a sample size, which is in the shade 4N. And ever since then, I've been using that. Uh, but I wanted to, you know, get the full size of this in my right shade, which is 4W. I have warm undertones. Uh, neutral undertone is not the right shade for me, but still it worked fine because it's a sheer foundation. Uh, so once it shears out onto your skin, you're not gonna, you know, uh, see a lot of difference. But this is a good match for me right now. And yeah, so I wanted to, you know, pick the full size of that product. And next I picked up the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation. This one has been on my list for quite some time now, uh, but I could never find a shade that even came close to my skin tone. And recently one of you commented in one of my videos asking me to uh, try out this foundation. So that reminded me. So I went to the counter just to, you know, try out the shade range again. And I was, you know, happy to see that they expanded their shade range. So I got the shade 5W1, which is not a perfect match for me, but it's much better than the shade range they had before. So I can make this work, it is a little bit yellow, uh, but you know, once you know, concealer and everything on, uh, it looks okay. Th that's the foundation I'm wearing right now. I'm currently doing a wear test on this. So you can check out that video once I upload it to know my thoughts on this foundation. So next I picked up quite a few eyeshadow palettes, which is so unlike me. I usually spend most of my money on skincare or foundations because I feel like personally, for me, base makeup is more important than eyeshadows itself. I never invest that much in high-end eyeshadow palettes. This time, I wanted to test out a few formulas that I've never tried before. These are new to me, but they're not new to the market. So the first eyeshadow palette that I have is the Marc Jacobs Iconic Scandal Lust Palette. It's their 7 pan eyeshadow palette. So this is the one that I got and you get uh, 7 shades, 2 satin shades and 4 matte shades. This particular palette is very expensive given you only get 7 eyeshadows in this. But I have to say, this is hands down one of the best quality eyeshadows that I've ever tried. I created a look with this the other day and the matte shadows in this blend out like dream. Like you, you need little to nothing effort to blend them out. And you do get a little bit of kickback when you dip your brush in the matte shadows. But with the satin shades, you almost get zero fallout. I don't know if it's worth it yet, but to be honest... These are the shadows that you can wear on a day-to-day -day basis. With this particular palette, you're not going to get those Instagram looks, like the one that I'm wearing right now, which is very intense. This is not something that I would go for on a day-to-day -day basis. But whereas this palette, the shades in this are more like a day-to-day -day wear. So yeah, it totally depends on your personal preference. But I feel like the quality of this eyeshadows is top-notch. And the next eyeshadow palette that I picked up is the Natasha Denona Mini Lila palette. Uh, so many people here on YouTube rave about her eyeshadow formula and all of her, you know, big eyeshadow palettes retail for $130, which is very expensive for an eyeshadow palette and there is no way I'm going to spend that much money on an eyeshadow palette without testing out the formula for myself first. This particular palette retails for $25 and it doesn't cost as much as my car payment like her other eyeshadow palettes do. I thought it would be a nice way for me to test out her formula and I have to say I'm highly disappointed. The shimmers work just fine. You get two shimmer shadows and then five matte shadows in this particular palette. Whenever I try to blend out uh, these two eyeshadows in my outer corners, they just won't stick to my socket. I always, you know, see a ball spot right there. 
and it's not something that I'm ready to look past because you are paying a lot of money whenever you try out expensive products the bar is set really high because you are paying a lot of money and you have to get your money's worth for me personally uh, this palette did not work and I will be returning this one and next I picked up the Violet Wars Berry Burst eyeshadow palette uh, Tanuja here on YouTube I will leave a link to her channel in the description box down below like she has nothing but good things to say about uh, Violet Wars eyeshadow formula so I wanted to try out because I highly trust her opinion so I picked up this mini size uh, they recently you know I think launched four to five uh, mini size palettes that only retail for $18 you know which is a really good way to try out uh, an eyeshadow formula and I did use these two warm shadows and the brown shadow to work before and they blend out really well and I did not use any primer underneath they did stay on for a really long time uh, and you do not get a lot of you know kickback with their matte shadows so I can't wait to play around with this palette more so then I picked up three Huda Beauty eyeshadow palettes I'm very late to the game when it comes to Huda Beauty makeup products. For some reason, I don't know, I never tried them out. I recently tried out their uh, Demi Matte Liquid Lipsticks, which are not bad, which are really good. I don't know if they're worth the money, but two of the colors that she has, I use them, uh, you know, uh, very often. And I absolutely love those colors. They complement my skin tone really well. And I recently tried out her concealer, which was okay. It's not the best concealer that I've ever tried, but at the same time, I don't think it justified the price tag that it had. This time, I also wanted to try out her eyeshadows because the colors that she has, has. you know they seem uh, really interesting to me so I picked up uh, three mini eyeshadow palettes from her obsession line the first one is ruby uh, this is the eyeshadow palette that I'm wearing on my eyes right now it contains like you know all these berries and corals I really love eyeshadows like these and I could get a full look out of this palette even though it doesn't have a matte black this particular uh, black which has you know shimmers in it if you tap off your product you won't get that shimmer on your eyes and I really love the look I created with this I'm going to insert swatches of this palette right now these eyeshadows are very unique to me you get four matte shadows one satin shade and then four metallic eyeshadows the mattes blend out just fine and the shimmers are really beautiful as well they are very pigmented you do get a lot of fallout with these palettes if you are to use this palette you have to do your eye makeup first if you don't want to ruin your base and this is not gonna be that you know a uh, day-to-day kind of palette uh, you get very intense look with this so if you're not into that you might not you know enjoy any of the Huda Beauty palettes that I'm gonna show you right now next I have this I'm this palette I almost forgot to talk about the packaging even though they are very mini sized palettes you do get a good size mirror in this which you can totally use to do your makeup with and the packaging of this you know uh, it's a magnetic closure the packaging of this is really pretty these are perfect palettes to travel with and this particular palette has more you know purple eyeshadows and I did create a look with this uh, I have a dress exactly this color and I was so inspired to create a look with this palette and I really loved how the look turned out as well uh, that tutorial will be up soon but I absolutely love this but this particular you know deep uh, purple shadow is a little bit tricky to work with if you want to blend up this eyeshadow on your bare eyelid it might not work as well it definitely needs a sticky base underneath or you know a metallic shadow underneath for it to stick to uh, so this particular shade is a little bit tricky but the rest all blended out really fine even though it's a little bit tricky, it's not as bad as the Natasha Denona eyeshadow that I showed you guys. That, you know, berry shades just did not want to stick to my eyelids, whereas this one is not that bad. You can make it work, but just keep that in mind, this particular eyeshadow is a little bit tricky. And next, I have her Gemstone Obsessions palette. This particular eyeshadow palette is absolutely beautiful. The shades in this are just... Ah, yummy. I mean, I'm not going to eat them. Don't worry. But all of these eyeshadows has a nice duochrome shift to them. They're very unique. Like, I don't think I own, uh, you know, colors like this in my collection. So I'm so glad that I picked up these three eyeshadow palettes because all the colors in this eyeshadow palettes are very unique. And I feel like these eyeshadows go really well with Indian outfits and I cannot wait to play around with these more. Next, I got two lip products. Usually, when holidays roll around, I do buy a lot of lip bundles. But this time around, I didn't find any lip bundles that were really interesting to me and the ones that caught my eye were all sold out I want to get the Pat McGrath lip bundles that were sold out especially when you want something and it's sold out it, it makes you want it even more it's just annoying oh I'm having a major fear of missing out right now but anyways first I picked up this Huda Beauty lip contour lip liner in the shade a trendsetter it's a nice you know a brown pinky nude lip liner and I really liked it I wore it the other day I have to play with the formula a little bit more but so far it's really impressing it's very matte it's very opaque and it's not very stiff like other traditional lip liners so I can use this to fill in my entire lips as well it's not gonna you know look very drying so far I like it uh, but yeah I'll keep you guys updated next I 
picked up this Charlotte Tilbury liquid lipstick duo. So these are the two colors. This first color is Showgirl and this color is Too Bad I Am Bad. Uh, I mean, uh, the colors are really pretty. That's the main reason why I picked up this lip duo. But I have to say, uh, the formula is not my favorite. This particular one, Too Bad I Am Bad, was a little bit streaky on my lips. I wore this to my work the other day. I wore this particular lip color, which is uh, Showgirl. And I liked it. I mean, the color was really pretty on me. But I have to say, I'm not a big fan of the formula because it's very drying on the lips. It is very heavy. Even though it lasts for a really long time, it's just not a very comfortable a lip product to wear for a day to day basis. If you want to invest in any of her makeup, I would say go with the bullet lipsticks. They're hands down my favorite bullet lipsticks I've ever tried so far. Uh, they are very creamy and buttery. They're very nourishing on your lips. When you first apply them, they're not very opaque on the first go itself. You have to layer them and it layers pretty well. And once you, you know, get that nice opaque application, it stays on for a really long time considering it's a bullet lipstick and it looks absolutely beautiful. Formula on that is just amazing. Go with those. I don't think I like these products very much. And the next and the last product that I have, which is the most expensive out of Everything that I showed you so far is the T3 Micro Curling Wand. I got the 1 1 4th inch which comes with the, you know, uh, clasp. I don't know if you guys watched my last Sephora haul update video. In that, I showed you guys that I got the, you know, the T3 set which retailed for $310 or something. That was really good. Don't get me wrong. The technology of this is the best that I have tried. I mean, I've tried, you know, four to five curling wands before but hands down this is the best one and I feel like it's totally worth the money especially if you're someone who tend to curl your hair a lot like I do uh, and I written that set because it's $310 and I didn't feel like it was worth it for me personally because out of all the four wands that it came with I was using just one uh, I was just using the one inch one which I felt like is not really worth to pay $300 just for that one uh, barrel so I written that set and then I got this one, the 1 1 4th inch. This is like a proper size for day to day for me. The reason I wanted to get a curling wand with a clasp because let's say my hair is very frizzy. So I can just, you know, run the barrel along the hair using the clasp. It will just, you know, smoothen out my hair really well. So that's why I wanted to, you know, get a, a curling wand with a clasp. This way I can use it to straighten my hair and at the same time curl it. So I written that set and I got this one. Uh, you can, you know, buy other wands. Uh, this is detachable so you can uh, get other T3 wands and fit in this so when I am not broke and when I have some money to spare I would get the one inch one because I really loved it so those are all the products that I picked up during the Sephora VIB sale so far uh, by the time I'm filming this the sale is still going on so I might end up buying a few more products before the sale completely finishes I'm hoping not my credit card bill is off the charts I need help Oh. So that completes this video. Let me know in the comments down below what products are you planning on purchasing uh, during the sale. I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Also hit the bell so you don't miss out on any of my uploads. I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.